What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to another Jutunes video, man. I know it's been a minute since I posted a blend tutorial, but I'm back on my regular schedule. I recently had to take like a couple weeks off, man, due to me frying my brain from the last scene I did, the robotic scene. If you haven't checked that scene out, please do. It took me a lot of time to do it and put together. So please check that 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 uh teaser trailer out for me because it's a part of my uh new series that's gonna be coming on Patreon soon. So if you're not subscribe to the Patreon, subscribe to the Patreon. You feel me? But all right, anyways, let's uh before we get started, just make sure hope y'all pray today, man. Make sure y'all pray today. Give God thanks for letting you wake up, give you another breath, another day to do what you love to do and to go for what you love to go for. Uh, other than that, man, let's get started, bro. Come on, I know y'all excited, man. Let me get some dubs in the chat for the tutorial, man, for the hair tutorial. All right, so as you can see from the thumbnail, we are going to be creating hair. This is a hair tutorial. Our character that we have now, her name is Summer. She is a character from my friends. He's an author. He uh, published two books. They're called Four Seasons. Uh, basically, basically based off, basically these kids, that's uh, based off the actual seasons, fall, summer, winter, and spring. So right now we are working with summer. We are creating summer and we are doing her hair. Her hairstyle is like a puffball type hairstyle. And you know, you got the, you know, it's like, it's basically like puff balls. It's puff, it puff, it's puff balls. Hit that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started uh like i said make sure you like share comment subscribe and uh let's go ahead man we on the road to 900 900 bro <laughs> all right let's get started y'all so this is how we this is what we're gonna do so these how we gonna make the pup balls this is what i did i got So this is how I did this. What it, what you can do, I'm gonna leave this right here. This is how I did these, these pump balls. It's simple. You can just add either, you can add two spheres or you can add two cubes, subdivide, however you wanna do it. It doesn't matter. Just make sure there's two spheres, two little circles on top of here. Add these two little circles on top of here. You know what I'm saying? Just simple. Hopefully I ain't gotta show y'all how to add two circles on there. All right. So now let's start off with our pup balls. As you can see, we got our pup balls on deck. All right. I already did this. I'm gonna show you what it looked like on my end. This is how it's gonna turn out to look like. Watch this. So these are the pup balls that we're gonna do. These right here. Let me put the little render view on so y'all can see exactly what we're doing. So if y'all look on this side right here, y'all can see it actually looking like some actual real pup balls but we gotta add you see how she ball right here we gotta add that hair right there but she's gonna have pup balls with a ball head you feel me so yeah man if y'all can see this right here we finna go ahead and uh make these pup balls let me turn that off and let's create a new particle system go back to regular view mode all right so what you want to do is we want to go to particles tab so go to your particles tab right So go to the particles tab, right? All right. And then now what you want to do is 
when you go to particle tab from emitter make sure it's on here but since i already did this i'm gonna just go ahead and hit this plus sign and add a new particle so emitter make sure it's on here now you get all these stragglies these are your hair so first what i like to do is i like to hit regrow and i like to hit advance so check advance and regrow next i like to shrink my hair length down so shrink that guy down to a reasonable size so i say about 0 0.07 or matter of fact 0 0.05 0 0.05 is a good size make sure you turn your segments up like seven segments <laughs> My bad, y'all. One of those kind of stuff. So it's all good. All right, so we're gonna scroll down, right? We're gonna uncheck. We're gonna check B spline. You're gonna put the steps under render to eight. You do not. Let's do that. Let's do eight, 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 and go to viewport display, and let's do the same thing. We'll do seven. And if you want to uncheck show a better for viewport display, you can. But it helps me see right now, so we're gonna leave it on for right now. Yeah. All right, y'all. So now we got that. Uh, let's see. So now we got the hair going. So now once we go to children, let us go to children and click interpolate. Okay. So now you see it's like more hair added. Okay. So we got our hair added, right? Got the hair. We're gonna go down to children, display amount, we're gonna do 30. But we're gonna change render amount to about either 70. We're gonna change that to 70. Well, let's do 60. Excuse me. All right. So we got our, we got our hair coming along. Okay. All right. So let's, let's start to make it a little bit more uh, Afro-y. Like coily and Afro-y, okay? So let's go to party. Our party, we can change that to 0 0.005. Uh, let's go to clump. Our clump curve this is how we're gonna get the like the uh shape of the hair so if you pay attention if you look at these puff balls right look at the puff balls and then come here to this clump if i make sure you're on this side make sure you're looking right here if i pull this down check the hair you see how it changes you see the tight you see how it changes watch this and now if i pull go in the middle and I pull this up put an arc on it you see, you see, I put that arc on it. You see, when I put the arc on here, it copies right here. And watch when I grab this corner on the left. If I pull this down like that, watch. You see, it started to look more like, you know what I'm saying, puffy. So this is the shape we're gonna use right here. This is how we start getting like that Afro look with the, the curls and the coils and stuff like that. So make sure we do this. You can, If you want, you can bring this up just a slight bit. But we just put an arc on it to have a shape in the hair. Okay. All right, so once you do that, we got that. So let's go to clump. Let's go to roughness. Let's go to roughness. So as you can see, we got uniform. Let's change this to point zero. We're going to start by small increments at first. Let's change this to point zero, let's say eight. Let's see what that does. Okay. You see how it changes? You see how it started looking more a little like rough? Early and stuff. So if you want, let's let's add a little bit more. Let's do point one. What that gonna do? Okay, that made it a little bit more rough. You see? You know what I'm saying? All right. The scale. Let's change the scale to. Let's bring it down a little here. Let's do point seven. Let's see what I do. So when you change the scale, it brings it down. It makes the curls a little bit smaller, more defined. You see? See how that is? Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's do. Let's bring the scale down to 0.5. Let's see what I do. 
Okay, that's cool. 0.5. Let's do 0.6. Okay, let's bring this uniform about the plate. Four. Let's see what I do. Okay, I fought with this. So make sure you copy this. So we uniform is 0.4, size is 0.6. If you want to shrink the size down, so if these curls look a little too fat, you can shrink the size down. So if you want to shrink it down to 0.3, you, can. you see, 0.3. So this is good. This is good. We had a good start, y'all. We had a good start. So we got our. Uh, so if you go to viewport right there, the render viewport. So it started look like little puff balls, you know. It looks a little too, oh, it looks a little too perfect, but we're gonna adjust that. We're gonna adjust the shape a little bit uh, in a particle tab. But yeah, we just trying to get the texture of the hair right now. So as you can see, we have the texture of the hair. We got that texture. We got that little uh, afro we texture. As far as the color, let's do the material. Let's change this material. Start from scratch for y'all niggas, bro. So right now it is like a dirty white. It has no material on it. Look like dirty ass snowballs, right? <laughs> so we gonna hit plus. We gonna hit that plus sign. Hit the material. We gonna hit new. We gonna call it new hair. New hair. This is for tutorial purposes. New hair. They can't even spell hair, bro. All right, go hit that. Now we're just gonna turn this color. Now we're gonna go to principal BSDL and change it to principal hair BSDL. Now we got our color, okay? All right, so we got the color. Hold on. Sure. I'm just trying to make sure if it's lagging, shit. I don't think it's lagging. Bro. All right, let me see. Hold on. All right. We back. My bad. I had to check my settings out, y'all. All right. So let's change this. We can make this a little bit more. Brownish, I like that, and then just bring it down. I mean, that's good. That's good. A little dark brown, cause people' hair is not really black. It's just dark brown. So just make it like a dark brownish color, okay? I just had to blow my nose. But yeah, as you can see, as y'all can see from the uh, left side of viewport render, it's starting to look more Afro-y, okay? Let's get it to the nitty gritty right here. Let's do it, man. God damn, come on. All right, so let's wait till that loads up. Or you know what? Let's keep it this. All right. Anyway, yeah, so this is how it's gonna look. Uh, yeah, this shit is tweaking. Uh, it's lagging. Well, not lagging, but it's going too damn slow. All right, so yeah, that's the basics right there. All right, so now let's go ahead, go back to the material properties. <laughs> Damn. All right, so let's do this. Let's do this. Party, party. Okay, let's go to hair shape. So let's go to this tab, hair shape. And now we're going to uncheck close tip. And now let's do diameter root. So diameter root is basically like the thickness 
of the strand in the way. So let's go back to the render view. Y'all gonna see the difference. Let me put this back up because I can't see shit. All right. All right, so diameter row, if we do, let's go down to 0.7. Let's see how that look. So as you can see, some of the hair is like thinning out a little bit. It's just thinning out, I guess. I don't know how to explain that shit, but let me do a test. So if I do 0 0.025, watch this. Look how thin this shit will be. You see? You see how thin this shit is? You see it? So that's why we gotta put it to 0.7. So one is being the max. And then the lowest is like zero, of course. So yeah, so we got it at 0.7. If you want, let's do it at 0.5. It's called day. That way we had those little scragglies at the uh, top of the puff balls, okay? All right, so now we got our puff balls, okay? So now they look a little too perfect, you know? So what we can do, matter of fact, before we even like change anything else, let's go to key, key tight, where it says nothing, hit that drop down menu, hit curl. So it's gonna curl up right quick. So you see that? curls so these curls are too fat so you see the amplitude right here it says 0.2 let's change that to point zero five right quick let's see what that do you should shrink those curls down see all right so it looks you shrink those curls down if you want the frequency is like how curly the uh texture is so right now it's at a two if we put this bit to five, we will have them curl for the girls, you know? See, y'all can see the difference. Hold on. Y'all be able to see the difference though. But yeah, we're gonna leave them at, what is it? 10 for the frequency. And yeah, so our pub balls, as far as like the hair texture is good to go. Now we just gotta style it and it's too perfect right now. So we gotta mess it up. We gotta mess it up, put some little lumps in it, you know? Put some lumps in that motherfucker. Yeah, me dog. First, let's get our reference pick. I forgot to get my reference pick. Let me see my reference pick though. All right, let me import my reference pick. Let me hit shift A, image, reference, download. In the right position, gang. All right, we're gonna hit that one right now. All right, so I got shouted right here. There's my reference pick right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dial the opacity back. It's too noticeable. Too noticeable. Make sure y'all save too, bro. Y'all already know how y'all how this shit is. Save it, gang. All right. So we got our reference pick right here. I don't know who that is. But we finna use them. We take these lights out. We put these lights in a different category, a different bed. But these is all in the way right now. You know? Hold on. Get this light right here. Come on. Come on, right at the phone. Shit, stop putting me. Select all my lights, put them in a little category, bro. Cause they in the way right now. So I'm gonna hit L, new collection, lights. Turn that shit off. Go down here, turn that shit off right quick. All right, y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Ju. All right, so I had to switch my little streaming shit. I went from Streamlabs to OBS. Streamlabs was lagging. 
So OBS should be straight. Uh, yeah. So let's continue where we left off at. All right. So I have. So we just got done with the puff balls, right? So now we got to do the shape of it. We have to make the shape of the puff balls. Okay. So let's 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 do the shape. So what we will do is uh, let's go click the puff balls. Make sure the period. Now we're gonna go to particle edit. This is where we're gonna edit the particles, right? So we go to grab our comb tool, and now we are going to grab, go to preserve, and just hit uncheck strand lifts. So with this, we're going to pull some of these and offset them from one another. So let's start with this pump ball right here. So if you want, you can hit F to change the scale, the strip, or you know what I'm saying? So let's pull this out. You see how I pull that out? We can pull this in, just start making a little, just, just make it uneven, because it look too perfect. These puff balls look too perfect. So just pull, get little humps in there and stuff. Because it's looking too perfect, too damn perfect. We don't want it too perfect. You know what I'm saying? So just, just add a little, and then you can shrink it to add variety. Damn. All right. So like I said, just, uh, you just pull. Make sure you do it from all angles too. So we had the front angle. If you do it too much, you just pull it back down. You know what I'm saying? Not crazy, not crazy. Just pull that bit like that. Pull it like that. You can have some curls popping out, you know. Just shrink it down. Just get little little curls popping down. You know, just varieties, bro. You just wanna make it. You just wanna unperfect it. The more it looks like not perfect, the more perfect it looks. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta make it look imperfect in a way. All right, so you see this? We just did this. All right, you see, you see the difference of how we did it? You see how we pulled the hair out and it's not like compacted in? You know what I'm saying? That's how you get more details of your hair. So let's see the interview mode. Oh, we gotta turn the lights on, y'all. Turn the lights on, oh, I can't see shit. But yeah, look, look at this. You see how? while it looks the right puff ball looks from the left puff ball that's because we pulled the hair out so now we just gotta pull it and go it all in. we have to go around all angles and just keep pulling it out but just a little bit by a little bit though just do it a little bit you don't want to do it major bro so let's continue it so we can we got it from right here we can we can we can just keep working this right here bro you keep working this and if you want that way it'll grow longer just check that and you could just adjust it like just adjust it like comb it style it however you want you know it's not to it bro but then you can uncheck it if you want to bring some more out just bring it out bro see once you bring it out you'll check it again to style it that way it'll get any longer So it's like, yeah, bro, it's really, this shit really tough, though. You just bring this shit in. All right, let's go to the right view. Let's bring some of this out with this in. You know what I'm saying? Bring them, bring them curls out, now. You gotta get wild. You know what I'm saying? This girl's summer. Even, and then we gonna do it to where it's like when she start raging out, the puff balls gonna catch fire too. So you know they gotta be wild. It's like you gotta show those curls, bro. You gotta show those curls for the girls, you know? The juices and berries, gay. It just you just out style that whole like just place it how you want. You had some going opposite directions. It's just all about just messing the hair up, making it look good, realistic, instead of looking perfect. Like looking fake. You don't want it to look fake and organized, man. This shit gotta look randomized, you know? Shit, I would just go ahead and pull it out some more. 
oh, hey, shit, bro. You want to see how that shit look from the right view? He can. But y'all see the difference? Look at the difference, though. Y'all see how unorganized this look? And this look more realistic than this. I mean, this look good, but this, it just adds more character to Summer, you know? You got, it's wild. It looks, she, it looks wild. So let's see. How that renders out to me. Just gonna wait till that render out, y'all. Might take a few minutes, but hey. Nobody's I'm just But yeah, y'all see how it looks right here. Let's look at our uh let's look at our reference pit. So look at her pop balls compared to ours. You see it's not as slick, it's not slick, but the pop balls is like kinda disorganized. So, yeah, see how we got that right there? Let's take the bitter off. That way we can see a little bit better. So we can uncheck to show it better. That way we don't see the uh, spheres. See, if we gonna do that. You don't see the spheres because we uncheck this. See? This side of the puff ball is good. Let's see what it look like from the right view. That view. So this puff ball is good. We got that puff ball. Now it's just time to do the other side. So let's go back to our regular viewport shader and let's mess up the other side. Make sure this is gonna check. You just adjust the scale of the radius. Just start bringing that hair out, you know. Just make it a little sloppy, disorganized, wild. We have to make it look wild. Let's bring this in. I think I put that up too far. You can push that in. Like I said, you can basically push, pull, whatever you need to do. Yeah, to make this look as real and as good as possible. So now you see how that lives? Like that's good right there. All these are curls. We just bring these curls out, yo. Then we can check this and just style it the way we need it. Like you could go in here, shrink it down, get little strands if you want. Let's go check this right quick. You can you know say do it like that. Come here with it. Like this, you know what I'm so much. Like you see how this looks, bro. You can just mess it all up. Like just separate it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look at this shit. It's supposed to be wild, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be wild, man. Summer, bro. She's she's a damn 
hot hand. Shit, they be a fucking crash out. So yeah, we just dirty it up. Our pulse is up right now. A little too major. Hey, stop! My bad. Fucking cats over here trying to get jiggy, bro. Yeah, bro. All it is, bro. Just take your time. Look at rappers' picks. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Trying to get jiggy, bro. Bro, don't tell me my damn shit froze on me, gang. Come on, Blender. Come on, Blender. Don't do this to me. Oh. Blender. I thought we was cool. What the hell happened? Yo, Blender just hold me, bro. Blender just hold me, bro. These niggas just hold me, yo. Bro, Blender just hold me, so I have to re dirty up these damn. I mean, I have to mess these things up again, so give me some time, yo. Dang, that's what I'm saying. I forgot to save it. That's why I say save, y'all, because of this shit reason. You know, Blender like to tweak out, bro, so. Excuse me. Let me go ahead and uh, adjust these damn pump balls, bro. Fuck you. Damn! Alright, let me go ahead and adjust these. What the hell is this? Adjust this shit. Just pull this out, bro. Damn, bro. Like, why the fuck you do all that extra shit? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. So we just pull these out, like I stated before. Split it with a damn crash on your boy. Just dirty this shit up. That's it. That's all. Just make it look like some real pump balls. You know? Just put it straight up. You know what I'm saying? Bring that shit up. Pull that bitch in. Pull that shit in. Pull that shit in. Pull that shit in. Shrink it. Make it more round <clears throat> if it ain't already. So I have to do that on my head. A little bit different. Just it, just, I'm just trying to make it more round. That's all. Pull some of these out. Feels 
uh, get them little hairs out of there, yo. Get them little curls out of there, yo. Come on, curls. Come on. Get out of here, yo. What are you doing? Hot in that football. All right. Now we should be gooch. All right. See that? that right pump ball out and check that left one out okay let's do it for the right view mode that's good back view Pull some of this shit down too as well, y'all. And you can bring that in. Bring some of the pump balls in. Just scale that radius up. Just push that in too. Right now, just tuck it. Tuck it the pump ball in. This is good. This is good. Alright, y'all. Let's work on the other puff ball. Let's go back to particle edit. Let's mess with the other puff ball. We, let's do a top view first. Top view mode. We just bring these out. Shrink it, get the little curls out there. Got to get the little curls, guys, too. All right, let's go to front view. Let's bring it out the top like this. You know what I'm saying? So it's in. So that make it sit up. Okay, that's cool. Let's go to left view mode, see what we working with. We can bring some of this back. Tuck this in. We could just adjust accordingly. So yeah, man, we just got our pup balls now, yo. See, we made pup balls. So now we got our pup balls. You see how good it looks? It's scraggly. We got we got it looking A-OK. -okay. You heard me? Just try to make sure everything is right with this. Uh let's do diameter root to point. So add a little. Well, let's do 0.65.65 diameter root. Uh, keep some. So yeah, that's that's our that's how we do the puff balls, okay? You know, just looking, making sure. All right. Yeah. 
Yeah, Silver is coming to life, bro. Yes, she is. Alright, y'all. So, this is the end of part one where we do the puff balls. The second part, we will finish off the rest of the hair as far as, let's see. pull this reference so as far as like we're not doing this front part right here we got to do this part we got to add the hair right here so when the when puff balls are like four it's like the hair that's flat is pulled therefore that's why it's flat because it's pulled to floor of the puff ball so we got to make this slick a little bit make it flat we can have a little scraggly, so I said, just to show the natural hair, show the roots growing through. And yeah, man, do we have the hair done in summer? And then after that, I'm gonna show you how to make eyebrows. And just we just gonna get into the details of the character and just add that sauce to it. But till then, man, I'll see y'all in part two, man. If y'all made it to the end of the tutorial of part one, thank you for the puff balls. Appreciate y'all, man. Like I said, bro, these videos they take a minute but i'm here to help and the least i can say is just subscribe and let's go ahead and get monetized and run this channel out man yeah yeah let's do this shit bro let's do it bro what are you waiting for let's do it bro all right y'all peace out and i'll catch y'all in part two peace and love love y'all